Taiwan will have a new central bank governor tomorrow when Governor Peng Huainan will officially retire after serving as the nation's top monetary policymaker for 20 years. On his last day on the job, Peng, a known workaholic, still spent part of the day in his office despite it being a Sunday. As usual, Peng was up before sunrise, taking a walk in Taipei's Da'an Park. Despite the fact it was his last day as central bank governor, Peng still spoke up in defense of his interest rate policy when confronted by a reporter. <laughs> Talking shop while working out is nothing new to the veteran economist. A known workaholic, Pong not only spent every day of his Lunar New Year holiday in the office, his last day on the job was just like any other. Retiring is to step down and rest. I've spent 46 years at the central bank. Besides three years during which I was absent, the remaining 43 years have left me with lots of materials and data. I now have to organize them by writing them down. Despite stepping down from the helm, Pong will still serve as a consultant at the central bank. In his 20-year tenure, he's helped Taiwan sail through numerous storms, including several financial crises, the 1999 GG earthquake, the 2003 SARS outbreak, while maintaining a steady exchange rate for the Taiwan dollar. It's no surprise that he's received an A grade from New York-based Global Finance magazine for a record 14th year. His deputy, Yang Jinglong, will succeed him tomorrow and it remains to be seen if Young will steer the same course as his boss and keep the nation's financial policy on track.